given to me through were what was the changes that was made within the Facebook features that would let you to allow you to upload CSV file or some type of file that would contact put your contacts from uh, email addresses or telephone numbers or etc. So I wanted to shoot this quick video here where I can tag it on to my YouTube channel that say that's Facebook has changed. I re I've done that video in 2011 and several people have left. I got over 6,000 views on that channel and I mean on that particular subject. So I want to shoot this quick video here and I hope I'll be able to answer some questions and solve some issues for some people. So right now I am here in the targeting options for Facebook here. And what you want to do here, Facebook has definitely made some great changes here. And what you see here, the only way you're going to be able to add any Facebook emails or CSV files is this. You're going to, have to create an advertised page or you want to create an ad. What I'm doing here now is you go to the advertise on Facebook page, and I want you, I'll, I'll give you some specifics here because it does say that you have to be an advertiser, and we'll get to some points here in a minute. Stay tuned to the end of this video and definitely get you some points that you can be able to see just the stipulations that Facebook has placed on uploading any type of email folders or files or CSVs. So right here, you go to the advertise on Facebook. Of course, there's got several options here to choose from when you're talking about how you want to uh, place your ad. You place it on page lights. and you click on that, then if you already got a page together, which I have too, you can pick one of those pages. And once you click on that page, it'll load you a page up. So I can create an ad there, and that'll give me an opportunity that I'm going to be advertising to a specific group. Now mind you, we we'll go over here now and, and here's the only way you can do it. If you have to go to audiences and mind you, you read the information here uh, that Facebook have about you. How to create an audience for my ad. And what happens is that's the only way you can load up any type of email now with Facebook's new rules and regulations. You can't do it other than if you got an ad. Now here's some stipulations. Let's get this real quickly and I'll let you I'll be able to go. Right here you have to go to this page here, which you know, over here where it says account. Once you get to your account tab, you'll see these specifics down through here on your Facebook page in your ads manager. And once you get to that, you have to click on accept the customer audience terms and I advise you to read this real carefully because you don't want to violate your Facebook rules and regulations because it does have a specific rule down here that says that by law that you have to have permission from any type of, of what they call a hash data that you want to use you got to have permission by law to be able to collect any Facebook IDs or any things that you want to you, know, you want to guard against any accidental or unauthorized access to this specific feature. So you definitely want to read this and make sure if this is going to fit your criteria for whether or not you want to load this. I just want to give you this information because a lot of people are clicking on my video and asking me this so you'll be able to see this. But once you accept these terms here by reading this, if you still think you that you can fall into your custom audience, once you click the accept terms, you can go to the audience page, and right here is where it's going to show us. You go right down to audience, but you're still in your ads manager, and then once you get to audience, you'll see 
two options here manage your audience or find your customers using email. This is the only way you're going to be able to do this. You hit create an audience, you hit data file or MailChimp, whichever one that you have. Preferably, you want to have your data file already downloaded in a CSV of all the people that you probably say you. This is only work for people that's currently on Facebook. See, it says right here email addresses in your data file will be matched with people on Facebook to create an audience. Files need to be in a, in a CSV or a text file format with one email address per row. And your contacts won't be notified that you've added them to an audience and will never contact them without your permission. So now you put down your name, your audience, put down your description. You can select the type here, the email, user ID, phone numbers, or mobile advertising ID. And once you select that, you choose your file, whatever source you have it under. And once you get through with that, you just, you just click. Once you click that, you, you go in and you find your file here that you have already uploaded in your computer and once you do that you just hit uh, open and that file will load up here and you create your audience. And that's the only way you can do it in uploading any emails now with Facebook. So I hope this has helped you guys. Hey make sure that you read you go to the page that speaks of let me back it up here. You make sure you go to your page that talks about your custom audience terms and make sure you read that and see if that follows under the criteria that you can use specific to upload any email. Now this is very specific for only targeting ads. So guys I hope this has helped you. This is James Buckley. Hey if you want to find more good tips on Facebook and also building your business and being able to personally develop yourself and learn, implement, and empower others, definitely go to jamesabuckley.com. And I'm in the process right now of writing an awesome book, ebook, that's going to give you great data on how to be able to take your business to the next level. Or if you're not doing a business, to be able to advance to the next level and create you some residual income. Hey guys, this is James Buckley again. I hope to see you in the next video. You have an awesome day. God bless.